Hi! Welcome to my channel, Canterbury Cottage. I'm Sherry and I am so glad you decided to watch my video today because I have a surprise. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you along as I shop some of my favorite thrift stores. And I'm going to show you everything I bought and what I paid. And finally, I'll show you how I styled and am using those items in my home. And now for the surprise. There's a part two to this video and I'll be releasing it tomorrow night. In tomorrow's video, I'll be completing a bunch of projects repurposing even more of my thrift store finds. It's part of a collaboration with some other great ladies on YouTube, so I hope you'll check it out. Well, if you're ready to go thrifting, let's get started! Recently, I was lucky enough to visit Door County, Wisconsin. If you're from the Midwest, you know about Door County, but for those of you who don't, it's located on the peninsula between Green Bay and Lake Michigan. Even though its land mass is under 500 square miles, it contains five state parks and over 300 miles of shoreline. It is famous for its cherry and apple orchards, vineyards, art galleries, antique malls, and yes, you guessed it, the rift shops. I made the most of my one afternoon in Door County. I can't believe I passed on this $10 wooden cheese box. Due to the number of tourists that visit Door County each year, I expected the prices to be a little high. But I thought these vintage suitcases for $12 each was a great price. This particular store had a great selection of vintage toys, including two mid-century Marx metal dollhouses. And how adorable is this fox hunter? But they were asking $80 for him. We stopped at this amazing looking store with piles of architectural salvage outside, but sadly they had just closed for the day. So I couldn't ask if this window with bars was from an old jailhouse or not. Now let me show you what I brought home from Wisconsin. I picked up one of those $12 suitcases, not sure why I didn't buy both of them. I also found this adorable green bread box and some vintage red kitchen utensils. And how cute is this vintage bird food tin? And I bought the small Mark's Metal House because I had never seen a small one like that before. I love Audubon prints, so I spent a couple dollars on these Heron postcards. But my best find, without a doubt, had to be this 40-drawer, handmade hardware cubby. After I returned home from Wisconsin, I decided to take you along as I visited two of my favorite local thrift stores. The first one is the Habitat Restore. Although they have a great selection, I don't usually buy furniture here because their prices are so much higher than furniture at the Goodwill. I loved this vintage floor lamp, but $150 is way out of my price range. I also thought this glass coffee table and wooden dresser were overpriced. Apparently, they had recently received a donation of new bathroom vanities. They have another room full of used vanities and kitchen cabinets, too. I was busy shopping and didn't film the back room where the small home decor is located, but let me show you what I bought. I paid $20 for this huge original oil painting and $30 for everything else that was in my cart, including this kerosene-turned-electric lamp. I found this amazing wooden fruit and this vintage grease gun. I found a big metal bowl, a lantern, a gumball machine, and animal napkin rings to add to my collection. I also found a heavy glass cloche 
and some vintage metal cookie cutters. Most small items at my restore are not priced, so I just negotiate a price for my entire cart full when I check out. This 1973 Gobel Bird is worth the $30 that I spent, and this vintage mixing bowl is probably worth a lot more. But that's not all. I also got this very heavy plaster medallion, these handcrafted pumpkin mugs, and a topiary tree that is in great condition. Okay, one more stop, and this is at the Goodwill that is five minutes from my house. Generally, I don't take the time to look at the clothes. Instead, I head straight to the back of the store where the home goods are located. They don't have a huge selection of furniture on the floor, but that's because their prices are so low that things sell within a day or two. When I saw this coffee table was only $2.99, I couldn't get it in my cart fast enough. And this pedestal table is only $6.99. But the roll-top desk is $45. This Goodwill always has a huge selection of holiday decor. And these back shelves are reserved for the small home decor items. I've mentioned in previous videos that thrift stores are always a good place to pick up used lamps and lampshades. And thrift stores are the only place where I buy dishes. Now let me show you a few of the things I brought home from Goodwill. I bought this cute vintage tin for 99 cents and a cast iron squirrel and acorn. I also picked up this blue crock for $1.78 and this wooden tray for $1.78. But my best find was this vintage mirror for only $1.99. Now for the fun part. Let me show you what I did with my finds once I got them home. Many of the knobs on the hardware cabinet were broken. And so I removed all of the broken knobs and then moved the remaining knobs to the top four rows of drawers in the cabinet. I used a straight razor blade to remove just the loose parts of the hardware labels. I used some furniture refinisher and some very fine steel wool to thoroughly clean the cabinet. It will also remove paint splatters and buff out small scratches. I also used the furniture refinisher to thoroughly clean the $3 coffee table. I ordered a package of 30 card catalog pulls off of Amazon for only $14.99. I situated them on each drawer in such a way that it covered the hole made by the knob. I sanded off the words that were printed on either side of the cabinet and cut a couple pieces of nice wood to cover the plywood on the top and bottom of the cabinet. I used wood glue and a couple nails to attach these wood pieces. I applied some Rust-Oleum Golden Oak Stain to the places where I had sanded the wood down. I actually found this stain at Dollar Tree. I wanted to hang this cabinet on the wall, but it is quite heavy. So I ordered this French cleat from Amazon, which will support up to 90 pounds. I used a stud finder to make sure that at least one of the screws holding the cleat went into wood. It was actually quite easy to hang, and now I don't have to worry about it falling off of the wall. The hurricane lamp just needed a good cleaning, a pretty light bulb, and a larger glass shade, which I happen to have in my stash. The silver cleaned up nicely with just some Mrs. Meyers multi-purpose cleaner. I decided to hang the huge oil painting in my upstairs hallway, and then I decided to change out the drapes 
and use an old set that I had kept from our previous home. Well, I think I found some really special things at my thrift stores this week, and I love how they look in my home. The hardware cubby has to be my favorite. However, Mr. Fox was a very close second. I wonder what do you think was my best find? Well, that's all for today. I hope to see you again tomorrow night. Bye-bye for now.